When Minecraft was first released, it was never intended to be a combat game. It was listed as a sandbox game, meaning a style of game in which minimal character limitations are placed on the gamer. This would normally mean building and exploring, not fighting. Minecraft version 1.7 had been officially released, and One Direction was only two months away from going viral. Version 1.7 was not the biggest update Minecraft had seen, and the only new major features that were added were pistons and shears. But this update birthed a whole new era of Minecraft that nobody had expected. Players found that fighting other players in 1.7 was much more enjoyable and strategic than fighting players in older game modes. A couple years later, on September 2nd, 2014, Minecraft's most controversial update was released. This was a major update to Minecraft, adding features such as spectator mode and shaders. Plus, a lot of new commands were added as well. This update is the most well-known and played version of Minecraft to this day, and it is not because of shaders. 1.8 is famous for being the version of Minecraft that the Hypixel network was based around. Hypixel and other minigame servers began to make PvP minigames purely revolving around Minecraft 1.8. Hypixel updated their minigames making them compatible for newer versions, but most players still prefer PvPing on 1.8. 1.8 is also the biggest source of revenue out of all the Minecraft versions for third-party companies such as Moonsport, the company that owns Lunar Client. Lunar Client and other clients sell cosmetics and subscriptions, which makes them tons of money as tons of Hypixel PvPers use them. Less than two weeks after the release of Minecraft 1.8, Mojang was bought by Microsoft. After Microsoft took over Minecraft, it did not receive another update until two years later in 2016. When Minecraft 1.9, aka the Combat Update, was released in 2016, it received immense hate from the community, and almost all players stuck to 1.8. Now you might be wondering, why do they all hate 1.9 so much? But Mojang, what were you smoking when you made this update? I mean, look, look at, look at this. Wood Axe, 7 attack damage. Diamond Sword, 7 attack damage. Oh, well, you see, Technoblade, the Wood Axe has a much shorter attack speed than the Diamond Sword, making the Diamond Sword better than a Wood Axe. Listen to yourself try to justify this. It does the same attack damage. No, it's not a better weapon, but it does the same attack damage. Why? This is why I have trouble taking anyone seriously when they try to defend Mojang by saying, well, they were trying to make PvP more realistic. Well, don't mind me, I'm just eating an entire... <laughs> 1.9 changed PvP by making players' time hits important to win fights. They also made axes do a lot more damage, but have slow attack speed. Shields were also added, making it possible to block hits in incoming projectiles. These are only some of the changes that came with this update. Over the span of 2016 and 2018, Minecraft was beginning to die because players no longer liked the changing game mechanics and they began to play other games. This was until around 2019 when something revolutionary happened. Early 2020 will be remembered not for reviving Minecraft, but for making all our lives hell. 80,000 COVID cases. The coronavirus vaccination. Symptoms of COVID-19. COVID restrictions were starting to keep people in their houses, which meant a lot more players would be logging onto Minecraft. And Hypixel reached its highest player count ever of 216,000 concurrent players on April 16th, 2021. But all of those achievements were barely noticed compared to the achievements of one Minecraft player. Oh, dream! After Dream exploded in popularity, players began to realize that modern Minecraft might not be so bad after all. If players like Dream could hit crazy clips and clutches on newer game versions, maybe they could too. After his explosion, tons of Minecraft streamers and creators began to make content on newer versions of Minecraft, which led to Dream creating the Dream SMP, a Minecraft server filled with prestigious YouTubers such as Tommy Init and George Not Found. 
Dream had gained more subscribers than any full-time Minecraft content creator had ever gained, sitting at 31 million today. Now with the pandemic in full swing, and tens of millions of new players playing Minecraft, it was all up to Mojang to make the right move with their coming update. As Minecraft evolved, Jeb, the designer of Minecraft, promised players him and his team would attempt to make PvP fun again by blending 1.8 PvP and 1.9 PvP into one version to end the argument over the versions and he delivered some snapshots. Bruh. He tweaked a few things here and there in the mechanics to make 1.9 combat a bit more like 1.8 and it was going well until he just stopped making snapshots and the project was as far as we know abandoned. End crystals are naturally found in the end dimension, and players are required to break them in order to kill the ender dragon. But they still do a lot of damage to nearby players when detonated, meaning they can also be used as a form of PvP. Crystal PvP became popular in around version 1.17, and it is normally played in versions 1.17 up to 1.20. Players like it because it makes PvP a bit more complex than classic 1.8 PvP, where all you have to do is left click on other players to win. Many content creators have began to make videos on crystal PvP and other forms of modern PvP and SMP content, and many big YouTubers who also used to focus on 1.8 have switched over to making videos on newer versions such as RKY, Raceman, and KZA. This is why I'm spending the next 7 days learning the game mode. And at the end of the week, I'm going to 1v1 a mystery YouTuber in crystal PvP. And it is day one of training, boys. Okay, I want to practice crystalling first. Bro, why is this guy chasing me? I'm trying to go practice crystal. Why are you chasing me? Oh. What I forgot to mention is that my wrist is literally spraying, Bro. but it's close to being healed. So hopefully in a few days, I can finally take this cast off and my PVP will be better. These people and many other content creators have made modern PvP what it is today, and even though I still main 1.8, it is pretty crazy how far this game has come. If you made it this far into the video, comment the word EVOLVING. Thanks for watching the video, and if you liked it, consider subscribing and watching one of the videos on screen. Also, join my Discord server. Also, I want to thank you for all the support my YouTube channel got in the past couple of months. I know I've been more inactive, but 84,000 views? That's crazy. Also, I went from 200 subs in early June to 1,000 subscribers only 10 days after that. So if you do enjoy my content, consider clicking on one of the videos on screen right now. See you there!